Hey there, hey guys, I'm Swazina and welcome to Swazina Says. So if you're watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Side note, if you want to send in letters to me, you can always send them in to Swazina Says, P.O. Box 583, North Hollywood, California, 91603. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Come through, Swiss Army. Okay, Swiss Army, I just want to give a shout out to one of our members in particular. She calls herself the General. Her name is Lenore Coair. Now, let me tell you about her, guys. She is a writer, a producer, an actress, and she is making her way on the internet scene. She has a web series coming out. I won't get too many details just right now, but you need to look out for this girl. She is killing the game. Now, while we're talking about killing the game, <laughs> come through red carpet. Miss Issa Rae, girl. I see you. Okay, she is also a writer, producer, and actress. And she started with a web series. And she has started with the web series, moved up, and now she's on HBO, and they are giving her a Golden Globe nomination? You talking about doing your thug thizzle. Issa, we watching you. Congratulations, girl. Y'all hear that? That means somebody wants to tell me about it. Let's see who it might be. I got my own theme music. I don't know what that is. All right. Hi, Swazina. Hey. Help, please. I'm losing my mind. I think my boyfriend and I are in two completely different places. I want to buy a house, and he wants to be a rapper. He's 35. His mixtape drops next month. Sincerely, I need a grown man. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This tickles me. Okay, let me tell you why, though, because I will never crush anyone's dream. I would never, ever, ever be a dream crusher. If you are, like, 35 and you killing the game like you the next Jigga, by all means, go for it. I think the issue in this letter, though, is that she wants to buy a house, and it sounds like he's not able to fund in that direction. So really, um, I need a grown man. The decision is really yours. Is this somebody that you want to stay with, help nurture, help grow, and create his career and be a part of it and say, you know, you were there from day one, ground up, you know y'all been riding or die? Or you know he sound like, well, you know, I'm not going to talk about nobody. Y'all trying to get me in trouble. He sound like some of these other artists and it don't seem to be going very far. That's a decision for you. That's not for me, but you need to know. Maybe you just need, you know, like a just add water type of relationship. That he comes in with everything already established and all you got to do is add to the table. That decision is yours. <laughs> Hope I helped. All right. Let's see. Letter number two. You want to tell me about it. Hi, Swazina. Hey. Girl, I feel like you say anything I wish I could. I know my mom wish I would shut up, but what can you do? Here's my question. My friends and I went on a trip for my birthday to Jamaica. Oh, y'all fancy now. All was going well until one of my girls, not my bestie, but we're cool, started having problems with her card in another country, so I started picking up the tab for her. Okay. After all, she came for my birthday, so I thought I'd play host so we could um, all start, still have a good time. Well, one drink, club fee, splitting dinner tabs leads to another, and now it's looking like she owes me a cool $400 stateside. Since we've been back, though, she's been avoiding me and not mentioning the money not once. Now I don't want to lose a friend, but I also ain't nobody's sponsor. <laughs> Should I check her or wait for her to bring it up? Sincerely, I don't play about my money. Okay. 
uh, I don't play about my money. Okay, first, first of all, you already said the girl ain't your bestie. Y'all just cool. So I, we, we got to decide which one is which there. Because if y'all just cool, she need to ante up, honey. You better tell her, don't make me call them boys, okay? That's not what you want. You don't want it, not over $400. But if she's your friend, then you really need to sit down with her on some real type, like, uh, what's, what's the problem? What's the issue? What's your malfunction? But at the end of the day, should you check her? Either way. Absolutely. $400 is $400. If you got $4,000, $400 is still $400. So, uh, <laughs> bring me my money. And if you watching and you that broke friend that took somebody money because you on somebody else's birthday, then you wrong. You look trifling yourself. You ain't got no money. You should have been eating saltine crackers and drinking water. But I digress. Some people are so nice. With that being said, let's move on. This is my soapbox. <laughs> See what I did there? Get it? Okay. Last but not least, I just want to tell you guys my favorite thing about Christmas. My favorite thing about Christmas is Thanksgiving. You know the holiday that y'all just skip by is November 14th and y'all got Christmas trees up already? Y'all not right, that's not cool. I don't know why y'all keep doing Thanksgiving like that. For all y'all Christmas people who just keep jumping over my favorite holiday. Thank you. You have a question for me. I have an answer.